This is a tutorial on how to draft the easy fitting jersey block that you can use for t-shirts, tops, and dresses. I will be referring to the metric pattern cutting book by Winifred Aldrich. I will also be using the metric system and the medium standard measurement. First draw a line and one perpendicular to it and mark the corner A. This will be the nape level. Place the tape measure at A and mark the nape to waist measurement and mark this B. This is also the waist level. From B, measure the desired length of the block. Here I decided to take the length to the hips and mark this C. And use a ruler to square our line on B and C. For the bust line, this is equal to the arm side depth standard measurement plus 1 cm. We'll mark this D. Next is the chest line, which is equal to the A to D measurement divided by 2. We'll mark this E. For the shoulder slope, this is one-fourth of A to A measurement and we'll mark this F. For the neck opening of the back, we will divide the neck size into 5 and then we will add 0 0.25 cm and we'll be labeling this letter G. Next is to mark 1 cm from G and then we are now able to draw the back neck curve from A to H. Divide the back chest width measurement by 2 and add 0.5 cm and then we will mark this on line E. We can now extend the line until it reaches lines F and line D. Next is L, which is 0.5 cm from J. Then draw the shoulder line from H to L. Next is to plot the bust calculation on line D using the formula which is bust circumference divided by 4 plus 2 centimeters. The 2 cm added here is for the ease allowance. For the front neck and using a green pen, divide the neck size into 5 and deduct 1.5 cm. So now we're able to draw the front neck curve from H to M. Measure D to M and use the same measurement to mark on the waistline and the hip line and use a ruler to connect O to M.
Let us now label the back neckline and the front neckline as well as adding the green line. Before we start on the sleeves, there are two measurements that we need to take from the front and back jersey block and we'll calculate this to get the R and S values. First is R, which is the total of A to D divided by 2 plus 1 centimeter. Next is for the value of S, which is the measurement of L to M on a diagonal line plus 2 centimeters. Before we proceed, I would like to say hello to my viewers from the Philippines, India, and the United Arab Emirates. If you find this tutorial helpful, let me know by liking this video and subscribing to Bobbin and Drew channel. So for the sleeves, first we need to draw a line and another one perpendicular to it and mark the corner P. This will be the upper part of the sleeve. Next is to mark the standard jersey sleeve length measurement plus 3 centimeters, and then we will mark this letter Q. And then use a ruler to connect S to P. S and R measurement is the same as the measurement for Q to T. And then use a pencil to temporarily connect S and T. One third of Q to T measurement, we'll be labeling this as letter U. And then we will connect S and U using a ruler. This will be the underarm seam of the sleeve. And now we'll work on the upper part of the sleeve. Measure one third of S to P and we'll mark this letter V. Find the halfway of S and V, and we will mark this letter W. We'll also get the half of V and P, and we will mark this letter X. So where we have labeled X, we need to raise this by 1.75 cm and for W, we need to lower this by 0.60 cm. Use the French curve to draw the sleeve cap. And if you want the pattern for the short sleeves, 
all you just need to do is decide on the length and mark this just like I'm doing and here I'm using 18 centimeters and I'll mark this Y and extend the Y line until it reaches the underarm seam and we'll mark this letter Z and this is how you draw the easy fitting jersey block for t-shirts, tops, and dresses.